The Elder Scrolls 6 will be incredible. And we know this because Starfield looks incredible. After the incredible Starfield Direct and all the new details we have of the game, we actually now know a lot more about the Elder Scrolls 6, as these games will be using the Creation Engine 2 by Bethesda Game Studio. Now, Starfield is this grand galaxy open world game and has over 1,000 plus planets to explore, albeit a majority of those planets will be barren and their sole purpose will be for mining resources and observing these incredible views. But let's take a deeper dive into the Elder Scrolls 6 and what new features we can expect from the game. So let's start with the open world. Now Starfield is a galaxy sized open world but the Elder Scrolls 6 will not be anywhere the size of that and that is a good thing because if Bethesda can handle a galaxy sized open world imagine how much more we will get in an in-depth, mainly handcrafted, open-world continent with the Elder Scrolls 6, which they have shown that they could do in the past with Oblivion, with uh, Morrowind, with Skyrim. So it's, they have that experience, but even more experience now with handling a galaxy-sized open world, we can only imagine of the kind of things we'll be able to get and do in this game. There will be so much more to do and experience in the next game, but we will need to wait to get our hands on Starfield to see how well the quality of the quests are in the game and if Bethesda can execute on a majority of their quests in this massive open world game. Also, we can see just how graphically amazing some of these worlds look and we even got a sneak peek already at the photorealistic graphical technology the Elder Scrolls 6 is using in the next game in, I think it was in some behind the scenes Bethesda video um, about two, three years ago it was. Um, and we even saw Skyrim Grandma is, will be making an appearance in the Elder Scrolls 6 and how they were scanning her into the game. And this is the same kind of technology um, they scanned those models that they are using in Starfield for the for the customization and the preloaded um, the 40 there was 40 set presets that you can choose from but we'll get to that a little bit later in the video so expect the world to be huge in the Elder Scrolls 6 compared to Skyrim and Fallout 4 and the game may use procedural technology when it comes to its dungeon so let's go into the creation engine 2 not only that but Starfield is the first game using the creation engine 2 and of course it's just marketing as of right now but from what we've seen in terms of graphics animation combat ship flight customization it seems that creation engine 2 has really taken Bethesda Game Studio to the next level. Now with the development of the Elder Scrolls 6, which we can assume will be in full development after the release of Starfield, the team will be a lot more experienced with this creation engine too. And with the previous experience of the older Elder Scrolls games and the insane scale of Starfield, the team will be even better for it and more experienced and should deliver one of the greatest fantasy games of all time. Now, let's go into a bit of customization. Now, it was Skyrim that introduced building homes into, Beth into the Bethesda Games universe. And Elder Scrolls 6 will take lessons from everything the studio has learned from Fallout 4, 76 and Starfield when it comes to base building and settlement building and now ship building, which we know we won't have ship building in Elder Scrolls 6. But those experiences in those games, we can only imagine what will be brought over to the Elder Scrolls 6. We can expect to have a lot more um, advanced systems in the Elder Scrolls 6 alongside incredible character customization that we've seen in Starfield. Where 40 face models were scanned which you can then morph into your own character, this will bring an even higher level of immersion to the Elder Scrolls 6 with not only your character but the NPCs. But another thing that Starfield did that was really cool was the backgrounds and the traits. And although I don't think we will get background options for the next Elder Scrolls um, as we are getting in Starfield, I think it would be fun to see the introduction of traits where we can see the return of the adoring fan from Oblivion return in the Elder Scrolls 6. I also love the idea of having parents and starter homes and seeing your grandma in space and just so many options that could make the Elder Scrolls 6 very replayable if some of those things, those new things, get brought over 
to the Elder Scrolls 6. Now, let's move on to combat. So, from what we saw in, in Starfield, melee combat has been improved upon and will be the focal point of combat in the Elder Scrolls 6. Now, we again need to get our hands on Starfield to see whether or not melee combat feels as good as it can be in Starfield for it to make either for Bethesda to make either major or minor improvements for Elder Scrolls 6. Now let's get into weapons and armor. Expect some of the most beautiful armor sets in the Elder Scrolls 6 as Starfield has some incredible looking sets just from what we saw in the Starfield trailers and the Starfield Direct. Also the weapon details in Starfield blew my mind. Just the way they looked and the materials and just the structures of these weapons. They looked perfect for what the game is going for and I absolutely hated a lot of the weapons in the Fallout series when it came to Fallout 4 and Fallout 76. I just thought they were hideous and I still think today Skyrim Skyrim's weapons design are some of the best I've ever seen in games and just the way they make you feel when you first get your hands on the dragon bone sword, when you first get your hand on the Diedrich armor, the Diedrich sword, the Diedrich bow and all these incredible um, ebony armor and all these incredible sets and weapons in Elder Scrolls, the way you feel when you get them is like you've just found something so amazing and rare and I cannot wait to see that return with even better detail and even better models in the Elder Scrolls 6. So with this new creation engine and the photorealistic technology Bethesda is using, expect some of the most beautiful handcrafted weapons and armor in the next Elder Scrolls as Bethesda has even highlighted the detail of the food in the Starfield Direct. These developers really care about the details and looks and and is one of their many strongest traits as developers. Now let's go into factions. Now Starfield will also have factions as we have seen in both Elder Scrolls series and the Fallout series so expect similar factions of Skyrim to return in the Elder Scrolls 6 but this time with a lot more choices and consequences. And I also love in the Starfield Direct that you can get past pirates by having the same religion as them and having that be a choice in the dialogue options which should again be expanded upon in the Elder Scrolls 6. Now, Starfield is a blend of every game Bethesda Game Studio has ever put out but now in this one amazing space theme package that will be we will be able to play on September 6, 2023 and to see just how well it holds up to everything they have promised and we've seen so far. The quality of Starfield and just how well it executes on all of its promises will give us even more of an idea of how much Bethesda have improved and the potential of what the Elder Scrolls 6 could be. Now, again, it won't be anywhere close to the scale of Starfield in terms of the 1000 planets, but we will get one handcrafted large open world continental land with so much depth and caves and dungeons. I really love what From Software did with Elden Ring in terms of its maps and how many different areas um, there were in the game and how they felt so different and just being surprised that there's even more to this open world and we thought that was it. And then there was a whole underneath layer of the map. The, 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 the dimensions of the map were just incredible. And I hope that we get the same feeling of exploring that. Or at least I hope I get the same feeling I had exploring the Elden Ring. Uh, with exploring the rumored land of Hammerfell in the Elder Scrolls 6. Now, I will be making more videos on the Elder Scrolls 6 and Fallout 5. So stay tuned and check out my Star Wars Outlaws breakdown video. And we talk Metal Gear, Ghost Recon, Splinter Sun and all my favorite games. I love, I love these AAA open world fantasy games, um, sci-fi games. So we will be talking about a lot of that. We've got Witcher videos uh, on the next Witcher games. Um, there's more than one. There's Witcher 4. And there's also some other spin-off titles that will be a multiplayer RPG. We, we, we talk about that on this channel. So go ahead and subscribe and go and check those videos out. I'll leave some of the videos in the description and in the comment section so you can have easy access to them. But guys, thanks so much for watching. Peace out. God bless. Hope to see you in one of my next videos. Take care, guys. I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign A sign 
feel like I'm losing my mind.